<laughs> this is where boys become men. Yeah. It is really hard. Oh. Uh, yeah, don't swallow. I've done a lot of silly things if you use that, but this one, something doesn't quite feel right. Breathe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's a strange beauty to that bog. Jamie's gonna be the first recorded death. Freezing. One of you in Bob one, the other one in Bob. The second show. We're standing in the middle of a field in mid Wales uh, for no apparent reason at all. Enjoy. <laughs> So, for this episode, we travelled from London to the smallest town in the middle of Wales for a World Championship sporting event that you probably haven't heard of. But do you know where the bog snorkelling is? Oh, yes. Oh, you do? I do. Yeah. Are you not going in, are you? Despite the uncertainty from the locals, we pressed on. After all, we had victory in mind. So we have just arrived in the middle of nowhere to the World Bog Snorkelling Competition. Get wet and my diesel. Okay. So we found a trout in there yesterday. A trout? <laughs> yeah, hey man, feeling confident, feeling ready. Obviously people have travelled in from South Africa, so uh, people mean business, but we shall see. <laughs> now if the name didn't explain it enough, the rules are pretty simple. There's two lanes of equal length for you need to get from one end to another with no conventional strokes while breathing through your snorkel. So to tell us a bit more, we spoke to Bob. One of the reasons why this sport is still very much a thing that people travel from across the world to do. How are you doing anyway, Bob? I'm feeling good for the, uh, good for the, the race. Well, I'm not doing it yet. Is there any advice for us uh, newcomers who are going to be losing our box snorkeling virginity today? Uh, yeah, don't swallow. So it's time to check out what we'd soon be throwing ourselves into. Two lanes of equal length, full of many hidden surprises, trout and probably a few diseases. Nothing that Zach and Jay couldn't handle, I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> Look at his legs. It's not the best sign. Oh my god, it's massive. <laughs> it's actually... It's absolutely <laughs> massive. This is where boys become men. I don't want to be a man. <laughs> oh my god, it's freezing, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. What have we committed to it? It was 9am and despite the wet, our spirits were not dampened as we put our names down on the list of competitors entering the World Championship event. And as the first competitor braved the bog, we started feeling a bit smug about our chances at victory. Three, two, two one, one, go! Oh, go. Oh, go. Oh, go. Oh, Johnny, I'm trying to finish struggling. Oh my God. Oh my god. But to increase our chances even more, we thought we'd get into the minds of our world championship level competitors to find out their secrets. What are you expecting out of today? To finish it. <laughs> Take us through the outfit. Uh, I just went into a shop near us, bought a pair of flippers, wetsuit, and gloves and snorkel and that. Streamlined like a seal. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> well, uh, I'm Jamie, what's your name? Uh, Simon. Simon, very impressive outfit. Talk us through it. Um, I've been eaten by a shark, if you haven't noticed. Oh, luckily your arms have survived. <laughs> have you got any uh, techniques that you're going to try and execute on while you're in the bog? Uh, keep it simple, just nice and steady. Hopefully get from one end to the other. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> One word, Bob. How was it? Uh, very good. You got any tips for me? Uh, keep straight. Keep flipping. Wise words from a wise man. Thank you, Bob the Builder. Have you got a few words for us? <laughs> what does it taste like? Uh. So it's safe to say at this point, Jamie and I were feeling confident. We had just spent the last three hours picking apart our competitors' game plans and secrets. Look how smug we were. They were there telling us everything we needed to know. But that's when we secured an interview which pulled into question everything we thought we knew about the event and life itself. Right, so I'm joined today by... My name is Mick Latimer. I'm flying the flag for Devon. Devon, can I get away? <laughs> how, how was it? How was it in there? It was like, it was unique. That's all I can say. There was like, it was like nothing I've ever known before. It was, there was a strange kind of beauty, you know? You're just sort of going out there and you know, there's, 
the cheering faded into the distance and it was uh, you know you could see little raindrops just on the surface of the water it was there was a strange beauty to that bog poetic i like it i like it as someone said it's like swimming through a tomato soup uh it didn't taste like that I have to say, I don't know what it tastes. Yeah, it just um, mm, there's a sort of a little kind of it's 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 an earthy kind of tang to it. It's kind of peaty and tomato. No. Got any advice for us two young, fit young gentlemen? Uh, enjoy, enjoy. Simple as that. You know, it's a bank holiday. We're standing in the middle of a field in mid Wales uh, for no apparent reason at all. <laughs> Enjoy. It's like finding Nemo. You know, you just got to keep on swimming. <laughs> Mick Latimer was right. We needed a new outlook on this. Yeah, it was a world championships and we were competing. But in life, the only person you need to battle is yourself. Be better than you were the day before. So with that in mind, it was time to get ready to take on the bog. I'm, I'm genuinely painfully cold. I, I, I might go put my ones on. A little update, we're probably about halfway through the day. Damien's bitched out and he's went back to the van because he's been shaking since 9am. It's fair to say that everyone, once they're in the water, they leave straight away. We're going to have no crowd, but we've accepted that. And uh, yeah, time for a little break from the interviews. Top draw. <laughs> Jamie's coat isn't waterproof. Oh God, I'm so cold right now. That'd be light. <laughs> I feel like you've been born. Give us a little dance. <laughs> Millie Rock! <laughs> is it funny? You sure this is funny? <laughs> don't, don't feel like it's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, you are, but you are crying. Brought a jacket. Had mountains on the logo, Penfield jackets. So I thought I'd be sweet. It's not waterproof at all. Mm. And I'm absolutely freezing. But I'm going to give it our best shot. What was it like? Sum it up in three words. Absolutely fat. So, um, kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. As we pulled, I couldn't. The legs jelly. Don't mind going in cold water. You know, it doesn't usually bother me. But in there, I was in there. I almost thought like, I was hyperventilating. Yeah. It was so cold. Yeah. It was fat. <laughs> oh my god. Get the distance. Yeah. It is really hard, oh and I, I kept holding onto the side because I was just really it was that bad. And then I got out, and I literally couldn't stand oh up. My. So it showed up feel right about it. Yeah. Done a lot of silly things if you that, but this one. Something doesn't quite feel right. <laughs> what? Loser out of our time who gets the worst time out of the boat has to, has to, after their run, belly flop into that pool of water. Yeah? Good luck, mate. Mate, yours is steaming up already. This guy don't know anything about snorkeling, man. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try not breathing through my nose. So after that humbling chat and the belly flop being introduced as punishment, it was time to get changed. But as per usual, Jamie had other plans. Oh, let's go. What's up? Come on! Oh my God, I'm trapped. Motherfucker, I'm trapped. No! <laughs> I'm trapped to this forever. You piss. Oh man, it's proper squeezing your head. How do we get me snorkeling? <laughs> Really rough. <laughs> <laughs> D Copperfield has hooked us up with some fancy swimwear. Oh my <laughs> god. That is going to be really in Honolulu. That's going to be me to that bog. So Zach and Jamie enjoyed the bog boys with the D Copperfield yeah, company. Yeah, yeah boy, these are sick. Tell so you what, with my washboard abs, these are going to look mint. <laughs> We're not going to do these justice. Zach also. Bog champ on the box. Not you though. But he's not the champ though, is he? Massive shout out to D Copperfield for hooking us up. These are nice. They're ammy and I think they're pretty expensive. So me and Jamie are going to absolutely fuck him up with this money bog. There was no hiding or avoiding it anymore. It was time to take on the bog. We had observed and absorbed all the information and knowledge we could. And now it was time for the clash of titans and the crowds were out in full to see who would be the victor of the Zack and Jay Show, episode one. We've been here for about six hours, up since 6 a.m. It's freezing, everything's wet. And we've got the panic jackets out already. It's absolutely horrible. My strategy was clear, to hit a steady, consistent pace and not burn out. People left the bog in weird, delirious states, but not me. Not Jamie Rawsthorn, the fastest man on land, sea, and bog. We've got the mad Mancunian, Jace, Jace, Jamie, Jamie, this is fastest man on land, sea, and bog. Even if
if we don't find you, Jamie, we'll find those shorts, won't we? Yeah, yeah. Right. Going up. <laughs> Lou, Lydia, Louise, oh, Jamie. Oh. 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 Okay, let's hear it for Jamie. And I'm off. The strategy was going well. I was finding my rhythm, getting acclimatised to the temperature. But what's that? The kind people were chanting my name if I was some sort of hero. The showman in me came out and I raised my hand in appreciation and continued to do so. At that point, everything went out the window and I was doing it for the joy of the bog and not for the speed. But I kept going. This was a marathon and not a sprint. Home stretch. I had more to give. The end was in sight and I had plenty in the tank. But what's that? More cheers? More cheers for my name! The shark fins came out. But unlike those ferocious sea animals, my fins slowed me down massively as I struggled to stay afloat. World record? Fastest man on land, sea and bog? The score was poor and I soon threw up everywhere. Next up, my partner in crime, Zach Allsop. Did he have it in him? Did he have the minerals? We were about to find out. Oh, Finally, we have Zach. Zach is from Bristol. Bristol. Finally, it was time for me to grace the bog and I had learned from the error of Jamie's ways. Forget the arms, they're a distraction. I was gonna pin mine behind me and go like a torpedo. The fastest man from Bristol was here to show the mank a lesson. I started with a mad pace, and for some reason I was twisting in some weird contorted motion. It wasn't part of the plan, but it felt right. Every passing cheer fueled my kicks. Kicks towards victory. Anyway, I was finally reaching the halfway point, and just like Mick Latimer said, the screams go into the background and you're out there alone. So alone. And that's when all hell broke loose. My aggressive swimming style meant that I had kicked bog water right down the snorkel into my mouth hole. So I had to stop or risk drowning. Back on track and the pace had died a lot. Every passing kick was harder than the last. My fitness may not have been there, but my god I was making this a race for the fans. I went into the final 20 feet with all the energy that my bacon sandwich from four hours earlier would give me. But was it enough? Is that you unfair and square? Alright, so that's it. Episode one of the Zach and Jay show here in the smallest town in Wales. Look at this beautiful scenery now, it's cleared up. It's the first time I haven't been raining all day, so it's pretty uh, pretty annoying actually. We came to Wales, a small town in the middle of nowhere with just a population of 600, not knowing quite what to expect. And uh, yeah, it was pretty good. What do you reckon, Zach? Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's been, it's been a funny day, basically, at the end of the day. <laughs> it's been a fucking joke day. Um, <laughs> Jamie's lips have been blue since 9am. Yeah, I've got strains in the back of my neck from where I've been shivering so much. Um, but yeah, it's still been a good day. What, what a day! What, what people! What, what a time, to be, time to be alive! <laughs> Zach and Joshua closing out. We need to get better at these outros. I know, man, that was wank.